Hey everyone, welcome to a new video series here. It's going to be called Finished in 5, where we're going to take and work our way through the X-Men United Kickstarter, primarily using Army Painter Speed Paints. And the goal is to finish this model in a 5 minute video. So let's get started. We're going to start here with Cyclops, and he's got a nice Zenithal base. Let's get into our first color. And when working with the speed paints, I like to start light and work my way up to the darker colors. So the, the lightest color that we're going to have on Cyclops here is yellow. And we're going to be working with Zealot Yellow. And you'll be able to see that thanks to the Zenithal, how this will be darker on the blacker or gray spots. And much brighter on the white areas. So we're going to zoom through. We've got all his pouches, his leg straps, and his visor done up. We're going to finish up with his hands. And we can take a look at him. We can see how that yellow is starting to dry already. Once we finish up with the yellow, we're going to work our way into his skin. And for the skin, we're just going to use the Crusader skin. And he doesn't have very much showing, so we're just going to do his forehead. And then we're going to do underneath here on his, his cheeks and his little button nose. And it doesn't matter if it gets into his mouth, we can go back later on and we're going to pick out those teeth with some white. There you can see we've got the yellow and the skin tone already done. We're going to come back in with a little bit of white and it went outside of the lines, so we'll touch that up. And now we're going to come in and the majority of the model is going to be covered with magic blue. And this is where you're really going to be able to see that Xenophile highlight kick in. So we're just going to burn right through this guy, get all that blue painted, and you can see the dark spots there on his back and around the bottom of his legs. Looks real nice. For his hair, he's got a real sweet 90s haircut going on there with everything quaffed back. So we're going to use dark wood, and we're going to come in and give him some brown hair. Looks good. And prepping the base, we're going to come in with a metallic silver, and we're going to paint this, uh, I don't know if it's uh, a metal something that he's standing on. Kind of looks like a big Lego. We'll swing the camera around here so you're not looking at the top of my hobby holder, and you'll get a better look at it. There we go. So now we're just going to come in with that silver, and we're just going to paint the that part there that he's standing on. And this is not speed paint. This is just the regular red from the Army Painter. I believe mine is the Saloon Red because I've got their cowboy set. We're going to paint the insignia on his chest and on his belt buckle. And once we got that, we're going to come back in with some black. And we'll paint around the trim. We'll paint the X's and then the circle around the top. And the rectangle down there on his belt. And now you can see that he's an X-Man. And here we've got some white ink, and we're going to come back in and dot in the teeth. And get a nice big grin. And for the visor, I took some blood red and mixed that in with the white ink to make it real nice and bright. And then just line that in the slit on his visor. We're going to take Gravelord Gray now and cover everything on the base that is not metallic. So we'll give this just a nice thick coat and... This will pick out all the, the dark spots and highlight the light spots. And then we're going to take that same zealot yellow that we did all of Cyclops' straps and gloves and whatnot with. And we're going to cover that metallic spot on the base. And you can see that when you put the Army Painter Speed Paint over top of the metallics, it takes it to a whole different color. So here we got this nice gold or copper colored thing for him to stand on. And because Cyclops is a hero, we're going to give him a blue rim around his base. So we'll just come in and paint that on there. This took two or three coats to get nice even coverage, but it comes out looking like that. And there's only one thing left to do after we take a good shot at him. Again, with the speed paints, having a nice Zenithal base is key. I mean, they have good coverage, but when you've got the contrast already, 
and then you're putting that paint over top of it, it just all the, all the work for you. So I'm going to take him off of there, and we're going to put him here in the display. We got Mystique and uh, Beast already inside of there. We painted those during our test run. You can see they look really good. Guys, let me know in the comments. Do you like the speed paints? Do you have this uh, Kickstarter? Who would you like to see me paint next? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.